Welcome back everyone to Chemical React. I'm your host Fusion Form, and over there once again is my co-host Grillifist. And today we're watching Hero Academia Season 4, Episode 9, continuing the raid on the Yakuza's base, the free I Eerie. Grilla, what? You excited for the, the fights to come? Yep. Uh, I'm not sure who's going to fight next. I think we have three villains that are defeated already, right? Yep. What, what and was captured the group? and whatnot. The group was like nine or six people. I don't remember. I'm hoping it goes straight into the next fight. That's just... I just don't remember. I'm honestly trying more blanks and blanks as we progress further into this season. Um, I hope it's that. I hope it's the one fight I'm thinking about because I'm really excited for that particular fight. Actually, uh, for the the last fight we saw, I actually completely forgot this was a fight, so it was enjoyable mm -hmm. to watch. Yeah, I really did enjoy that uh that special move. What's it called? The cracking uh, Chimera Kraken. That's pretty dope. I, I like the name of it too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And we were talking this off screen, we were like, how cool would it be like if he can make like any animal ability into like, you know, a super mega version of it, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and can you imagine it being a wolf, bear, tiger, freaking... Cool, cool bear tiger. Can we eat a spider? <laughs> oh, I don't even want to imagine <laughs> what that would be. It's gonna be an uh, episode or a spin-off where he's sleeping on bed and the spider gets in his <laughs> got it. He he hates the taste of it, but it's like his ultimate form, so he has to eat it. Oh man, that's <laughs> now I want that. <laughs> so it's gonna be a fan fiction on that shit. It's gonna be it's gonna be like spider legs, it's gonna be like rattlesnake meat. Ew. And I don't know. Now you're lobster. just trying to make it look uglier. <laughs> yeah, but he'd be <laughs> scary. Lobster. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean it maybe if there was a villain, like a, a villain version of him that has the same ability, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> God, he likes eating the snakes and spiders and alligators. Freaking, um, what's that one guy that likes to hang out in the woods and drink his own pee? <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I know who you're talking about, but it just caught me off guard. You brought it up. <laughs> Well, no comment on that. Anyway. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. So hit that thumbs up button if you like this episode. And Fusion, anything else you want to say before we start? <laughs> Ring that <laughs> bell for notifications. <laughs> yep, and I got my fingers up. Three, two, one, play. Yeah. What about those eyebrows? <laughs> we didn't fight the cops, we were gonna die. <laughs> Sounds like every uh, gang life. So does she not like button up her shorts or is she just hanging? <laughs> well, we know where you're paying attention to. I mean, I, I the, did talk about her under boobs, right? <laughs> getting them real concrete answers going in. I need to know, damn it. <laughs> Roll out. <laughs> oh. He's oh, so this this fight. This is the one I was waiting for.
I'm gonna take those punches. Ooh. Maybe not. He took it, yeah. He... Actually gonna see this whole fight this episode I uh, I don't think so we'll probably see half of it Beat up right now. <laughs> that fat guy is great. <laughs> Get rid of this. <laughs> How am I gonna beat people up if I'm stuck in here? <laughs> Poor guy. Do understand me. It's quick, they go right into fighting mode. Come on, Red Riot, do something. That comes blonde? <laughs> oh, a surprising twist. I didn't know, man. I don't even know what his face looks like. Oh, it's a, he's a Tanuki. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a neat ability, I guess. Wasn't his hair red? Yes. <laughs> and it didn't do nothing to help? It just reminds me of Jojo with the gentleman thing going on. Yeah. Oh. Her. <laughs> what? Are they break dancing? Wow. What just happened? You used the uh, the art of dance to befriend people. Cat girl, do something. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks! 
Oh, there's a cop. <laughs> what's, he, what's he gonna do? <laughs> I'm just stop he's just, before I shoot you. <laughs> oh, that's kind of sad. So does his hair change naturally, or did he? Did, does he dye it? I, think I feel like he dies it. it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm asking weird questions, but I want answers. There are very important questions to be asked. Ooh. That's some words there. Can't live by why people die around me. Live life with no regret, motherfucker. I will make it. <laughs> they don't know you, guy. <laughs> I do like his whole determination, though. Yep. Everyone cheered and congratulated him. <laughs> oh, are we finally gonna get the answer? Wait, are horns are real or fake? They're real. Okay, I thought she meant like they were fake, that like she glued them in her head or something. They're totally gonna hook up. Yeah. Be a couple. You could just tell. Right? Oh. Yep. As soon as he tells her, they're gonna be like lovey dovey. <laughs> oh man, I'm pumped. But they're gonna end it, aren't they? <laughs> Oh, so cheap. Oh, we actually get to see him skinny. <laughs> he looks good skinny. He's handsome. <laughs> <laughs> One punch. We get we didn't get to see the whole fight this episode. And a flashback. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I'm yeah. just think I'm just thinking back to the manga. Yes. And the manga was so much more impactful. It is. I like. I, I don't know. Like I, I felt like I feel like something was cut, or I thought Red Riot had a little more of a more uh, like a stronger moment. Maybe it just was drawn like really well. I think it's a combination of both, but I think it was also they included the flashback. No, the flashback's in the manga. Okay, well. I like the flashback. It, it shows you why he became the hero. Yeah, I actually did enjoy that. Uh, in the beginning, I was pretty mad, but uh, at the end, right when he's like, ah, sacrifice <laughs> myself, you know, like, all right, I'm in. Just, just go put in some work. What's, uh, what's the pink girl's name again? Mina? Mina, Medina. Mina, I keep forgetting her name. Yeah, she doesn't like come, totally she doesn't come up, up enough. Oh, oh she totally. Will. You know, you know. Ah, she, yeah, she she's totally hook up. I, I ship it. <laughs> we got right on yeah. the shipping list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of like who who the main female uh, protagonist of the show. It would be Gravity Girl, Toad Girl. Uh, That's it. No, and the uh, pink. The pink girl because she was part well, of the I, group with, with the training in a couple episodes ago uh, episodes i ago. mean if you wanted to say main like main the main heroine is uraka gravity it's girl because the, obviously they're gonna put her up with a uh, deku i mean i i mean you could you could argue season one it was also sue and then like season <laughs> oh yeah i remember right before the anime even dropped we were talking about uh like the anime popularity list about the female cast and she uh -huh. just ran. <laughs> and we, I was surprised that people like her. I was like, I like her character, but I didn't know she was that liked. Season three, I would have to say, was um, Momo. Because she, she had... Better. She had a yeah, total... She, uh, uh -huh, sorry. She had a whole, like, arc about overcoming her self-doubt and then she was a part of the group. Yeah, she had for... a, a complete... Uh, like, oh, how do I say it? character overhaul or complete change like back then she was just like she was just there now she's just like i'm there with a purpose and um not to spoil anything but you know the next arc there's one of the other girls is gonna have some focus which is gonna be nice hmm. and but some of the other ones though there's still, there's still girls that don't have like invisible girl she got no focus she's just there she's there and she can break dance. <laughs> Invisible girl? <laughs> oh, my bad, bad. I am stuck on the pink girl. <laughs> no, it's, not, it's like, when did you see this? <laughs> oh, so that she, who knows, man? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, but wait, we went all the way out, so we're not even talking about the episode anymore. You know what? If the episode was great, we don't need to explain that. It's Fat awesome. Gum was handsome. <laughs> <laughs> he was handsome, though. It's... I, I didn't think we actually see him skinny. I'm like, uh, yeah. that's, I completely forgot about the ability where he can take the punches and pretty much absorb the power and energy and throw it back to him. That's pretty cool. That's a yeah. You know, it's kind of like the Pokemon move stockpile, and then um, I was thinking like Snorlax. No, no, it's like well, I mean, I think Snorlax can do what is the Pokemon ability called stockpile, mm -hmm. where you you get higher defense and then you can shoot it all out at once to do it like more damage. Um, now since, the, you know, the particular episode was just focused on the fight, we pretty much... Alright, I think that wraps it up. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, let us know what your favorite moment and scene was. My favorite scene was pretty much Batgum being beautiful. And Red White <laughs> Bat coming Gum in to save... Batgum being beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that can be my quote. <laughs> Uh, I, was, I do like that red light. Like that, I don't know. I was pumped. I was like, yeah, let's go. Let's wreck some shit. And he got wrecked, but he did something. What about you, Fusion? Favorite moment? Uh, yeah, my favorite part was was definitely him jumping in and like taking all the hits. At least he was conscious to see the end result, right? He was like an eye open. Yeah. But uh, definitely. All right, guys. And like always, we will see you to the next episode.